Good morning, good morning, good morning. Detroit and its vicinity has so much talent. And with the help of many great music teachers, the young people are learning, starting to learn earlier and earlier. And it's unfortunate that so many of the schools do, do not have music programs or drama programs, the things that really let a child shine. And today I have with me Mr. Damien Crutcher, who is a renowned <laughs> former music teacher. Well, you still teach. And don't you direct the orchestra, too? Yes, I do, yes. Where? I direct the Farmington Community Band in right. Farmington. Yep. Right. And we have Gabe. Good morning, Gabe. Good morning. Okay, I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have you hold this and talk into that. Say good morning again. Good morning. Good morning. How old are you? Seven. What is your instrument? A trumpet. A trumpet. That's mighty big. Mighty big. Do you like it? Yes. Oh, that's great. Now, Damien, you're with Crescendo Detroit, right? Yes, ma'am. You started that. You founded it with someone, right? Right. With um, We started Crescendo Detroit a few years ago, myself, my brother, and Richard Mukamal. And it's a nonprofit, and we've really been doing things in the neighborhood, specifically in the Dexter Davidson neighborhood of Detroit. Right, right. You had something near Dexter Elmhurst, didn't you? That's right. Yeah, we're right in the area. I remember, I remember. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, well. <laughs> we were on your show a couple of years ago when we first started. Right, right. And it's right. been a great three years for us. So tell us about it. How do children get involved and so forth? Well, first of all, it's, it's a program primarily to build character in kids using the arts. Um, and we run an after-school program, and the kids have music and dance, life skills, reading, and then we feed them every session. So we have a full meal. And we sit down to dinner like a family at the end of every session. Oh, that's uh, and we take yeah. field trips and we have guest artists come through. So we're making it like it's a real school of the arts, right in the middle of the community. That is so wonderful. How many children are involved? Uh, right now we have about 25 kids. In the summer we usually go up to about 35, 36. Okay, is that your max? That, no, that's not the max. Okay, so in the summer you need more? Well, we could take more. Yes, we can take more. We if sure you, can. If you take more, I'll come and do a workshop. If we will take more. Then we'll do that for sure. Okay. <laughs> That's well, right. I got to have this verification. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I got you. We, I noticed we you left love. drama out. You know, right, because we wanted to start small and focus and yes. then spread out as we go but the kids could use drama because it ties in all the things that we're working yes, with the does. music and the reading and it gives them good self-esteem we would love to have you you know you I, and i go back a long, long way. way right we go we back do. a long way we do that's we right do. well i think that that's wonderful especially where you're having it, how you're right in the community. That's right. When we started, that was our number one focus. Uh, we didn't want to be in Midtown. We didn't want to be downtown. But we really wanted to be in the community where kids could walk if they wanted to and, and to build a community within a community. And none of the schools in this area have vocal music, instrumental music, choir, art, dance, and some of them don't even have gym. Could you imagine? It's criminal. And so we're just trying to make up the difference so that our kids can have what some of the kids in the suburbs have. Right. Absolutely. I don't know. You know, it's the thing about the arts. They reach all intelligentsias. Yes. They even help children with math. That's right. The music, the beats, and all of this. There's a, a tie between children and music and math. Oh, for it's sure. It's big time. It's big time. I mean, there's so much research that, that proves that, that kids who are involved in music, they're better in math and in science. And I think on, a, on, a, on another level, though, it just makes us better people. It makes us whole human beings. We understand ourselves when we're in plays and we're in a band and orchestra. We feel better about ourselves. And it gives you the aspect of teamwork. Teamwork, and that's important. Teamwork and working out conflicts right on a team oh, right in a right, group getting right. along and that takes you in through the adult life that's it right really really does. it really does and we're looking forward to working with kids like Gabe all the way from five years old until they go to college and I tell five them when you years old. five years old five what does a five-year-old take I mean what kind of what what do you do 
It's amazing what we, you know, we really, um, and we really wanted to start the kids young. You know, my first pastor, Reverend Havius Green, taught me when I was a kid that kids learn 80% of they're gonna, what they're going to learn by the age of five. Really? That's what he said. But he, and he also ended up having eight daughters with PhD, so he knew what he was talking about. Excuse me. And so, he, so anyway, we just we know that at five they could do a lot of things that we didn't think they could do. So in our program at five, they start with basic music. They start with basic dance movements. Um, Who the, teaches dance? Uh, Thomas Butler teaches dance, and he grew I up. Know, he, yeah, he grew yeah. up in that community. He lives in that community. He's a wonderful dance instructor. I mean, he's danced all over. He's a good teacher. So he starts them learning how to skip, and hop, and gallop because they don't get that in school like we right, did. Right. You know, right. they don't have gym classes like we did in junior music. And with that too, it teaches these young people to be audience members. That's right. That's the, you could tell, some people are so uncouth in an audience. That's right. And they don't know how, they just don't know how they didn't learn. When I was a little girl, which was a few years ago, when I was a little girl, we had a class named Auditorium. That's, that's right. <laughs> Absolutely we did. We did. But to teach you. That's right. Poise and etiquette. Right. How to be that or and to be that audience a, member and know that you can't talk back to the actors. That's right. You can't do that. You know, I think part of part of our concept at Crescendo Detroit is that we really wanted to bring back the class and dignity that is part of African American heritage. Right. You know, that we're more than just rapping and twerking. Right. But you know, we're Gregory yeah. Hines and yeah. we're Alvin Ailey and we're Arthur Mitchell Common and we're and we're, 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 we're Miles Davis. Jeffrey Holder. That's right, that our culture is more than what it Marcus is today. Belgrave. Marcus Belgrave, Wendell Harrison, Pamela Wise, right. all these, you know, Marion Hayden. Galen McKinney. Absolutely, oh, Galen, that's there. right. Those are all of the greats, they're, and they're all supporters Ralph of. Armstrong. They're all supporters of the program, um, but we really want to let the kids know that there's a part of being African American that you could be very proud of. Very much. Very much. So we make sure that when Alvin Ailey comes, that we take the kids, don't we? Yes. Yes. The dance through the Harlem. We go to see the dance of the Harlem, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> Detroit Symphony, we go. So we take the kids um, everywhere. And it's because of people's well, support. And then, too, it's like seeing them apply, seeing people applying what they're learning. That's right. And they're applying it in front of big audiences right. and so forth. Because a lot of times parents, especially when I was coming up, they tried to dissuade you against having a career in the arts because they know how hard it was. That's right. But... I believe in all things being possible. All things being possible. You yeah. know that. You know, because between the two of us, we have tons of kids oh, who, goodness. from our teaching days, right. that are professional musicians and artists. And, and directors. They, and directors. And, 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 and they're in movies and they're right. writing plays. And right. they're, I have one student who's the uh, director of jazz studies at University of Utah who's part of my advisory board, Chris Johnson. And so I think all things are possible. And that's what we're trying to show Gabe and these kids, uh, that the sky is not the limit. Right. And uh, I'll take it a little bit to the rap era. I have uh, one of my students, he directed Big Sean's video mm -hmm. that was uh, nominated for a VH1 Video Music Award, a BET Award, yes. uh, J. Cole's video. He, uh, they're now getting ready to make a film starring Big Sean yes. that he wrote, and he thought of the idea right in my living room. Oh, you know, wow. I mean, and then Coco was one of mine. Oh, that's you know, right. Yeah, I mean, just so many that's right. people who just took it, and it was their dream. It was their dream. There were so, so many wonderful young people who went on and persevered, because it is perseverance. It is perseverance. And that's, and that's one of the things, this is why I want to be in the community, because we have a whole generation of kids that don't know any of that. They don't know where they come from. We have a quick call. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. And, and uh, uh, Brenda, my name is Betty, and I'm calling because I would like to know when were all these things taken out of school? Because when I was going to school, we had art, we had music, we had homemaking. The, the guys, I think they had it was something that was called craft, where they were taught how to make things out of wood. Yeah. And yeah. after school, wood we shot. had recreation. Right. When did all this happen? Well, it happened. And how could it happen? 
because for some reason the arts were the first to go. That's right. And the extracurriculars. And music. And music. And imagine in Detroit music going. That's what I'm saying. Because I used to sing in the choir. But yes. you know what? My teacher was Mr. Hawkins. Oh, Back when wow. I was going to, uh, when I attended Cheney. Right. I right. sang in the choir. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wow. He was our music teacher. You know, it's something that I believe demand. If, if people galvanized and demanded that. Mm-hmm. But, you know, people start off galvanized and then they start falling away. But it's very, very important that we have that. And then when they wanted to make cuts, they... They just went to the arts first. I mean, you you notice, is, but but you notice most schools have a football program. This is terrible. I mean, I, you know, I didn't know all this was going on. I mean, I mean things like uh, picking out uh, everything. Yes. My God, even the girls had a cooking class where they would ta- teach how to cook and how to do knitting. Right. I mean, we had everything. We right. did. We did. And, and you know what? And like I said, I graduated from Western High School. You know, and, yes. and when I was graduated from Western High School, I mean, I was ready to go out, and uh, I went downtown to all those banks. I passed the tests, yes. and then I ended up working at the city county building as junior typist. Right. I was prepared. You were prepared. You know, Absolutely. I was so, you know, this is just terrible. I know. And really, I'm, I'm just shocked and appalled at this. We're, we're going to have more about this as the shows go on. I mm-hmm. thank you, Betty, so much okay, for your Okay, thank call. you, Brenda. Uh-huh, my pleasure. All right, bye-bye. Now we have a tell, I would like you to tell everybody how do they get in touch with you, and then we have a little treat. Sure, they could get in touch with us uh, at www.crescendodetroit.com. Dot O-R-G. Uh, that's our website. It's Crescendo is C-R-E-S-C-E-N-D-O. Or you could Google me, and it'll take you right to our program. Um, and we're You're on Facebook, I'm too. on Facebook. Uh, Damien social, Crutcher. Damien Crutcher. Uh, we're also on Instagram and Twitter and all those things also. So please catch up with us. And we're right in the middle of our fundraising campaign, too, because we have so many supporters out there that help us. Um, this is why we're able to do that. Right. And we have a family of donors that have put up $10,000 if we can match that 10000 by December 12th. How do and we you do know that? we will. How do you do you that? You can go to our website, to the donation page. You can click on my Facebook page. There's a link there. Right. You just get, it doesn't matter, $5, $100. It doesn't matter. Everything it just helps. helps us make a difference in the neighborhood because sometimes we get lost in the neighborhood. There's not much good news that we hear about in the neighborhood. Um, it's and like so, a raisin in the sun. It's yeah. a raisin in the sun. It's it really is. In the sun. But we're, we're having a good time, and I've got an excellent staff. i got to get over there. You've got to come over and do some dramatic reading for the kids. Oh, but I want to teach them how to do pantomime. Yes, you have yes. to do that. Well, listen, we're going to have them have Gabe and Damien do a little a short performance, and we'll be back in just a second. We're going to set that up. <laughs> 